Welcome to this Thrive Apprentice and WooCommerce Quick Start Guide. If you have created courses in Thrive Apprentice and you want to start selling them through a checkout tool such as WooCommerce, you can easily do that. You just need to go through some steps for setting up the right permissions and restrictions and then you can start selling your products through WooCommerce. Now before we start, it's worth mentioning that in this tutorial I already have my Thrive Apprentice course created and published, I have installed WooCommerce on my website and I've also set up a payment gateway through which all the future payments will be processed. What I will be showing you in this quick start guide is how to create a Thrive Apprentice product for your course that you can then tie to a WooCommerce product and sell it as such. Now first things first, let's access Thrive Apprentice and create the product there. So I'm here on my main course dashboard. What I need to do is simply open the access restrictions tab and create a new product based on my course. The system is intuitive like that and when I create a product it will automatically add my course to it and also give it the same name. Now if you want you can also add non-course content to your product and I will be linking here a useful article if you want to find out more about how to do that. So now that I have my Thrive Apprentice product created, you can see that I've been redirected to this view where I can start setting up the access restriction rules. So what this means is that I can make sure that only the users with the right permissions will be able to view this course. As far as the customer experience goes, when someone tries to access one of your Thrive Apprentice courses and they do not have access to it because they haven't bought it yet maybe, you can choose what content to display to those users. They can be redirected to a sales page, to a login and registration page, or maybe to some other type of custom content you would like to set up. In this case, I will be using a custom page that has the link to my WooCommerce product, so they will have to click on the link, purchase the product, and in the back end, they will be receiving via email the necessary login details for accessing the course later on. But I'm going to come back to this section later after I also set up my WooCommerce product and my custom sales page. So this section will be the very last one that we will be configuring. So next here in my left sidebar of my WordPress admin dashboard, you can notice this WooCommerce section and right under it, there's another one called product. Now I'm just going to go ahead and add a new product from here. Then give it a new name. As you can see, this looks pretty similar to the process of adding a WordPress page. And now from here, I can pick a Thrive Team Builder template if I want. I'm just going to leave it as it is for the moment. Next, I'm going to scroll down and we are moving on to the product data section where we can actually set up the product. There are multiple options you can use here, but I will be focusing on the more basic ones. So WooCommerce has a pretty detailed knowledge base if you want to learn more about the ones that I will not be mentioning in this quick start guide. So in this section, you can start by choosing the product type you want to create. As you can see here, there are several options to choose from, but we are focusing only on selling a simple product this time. And now here, I can just tick this checkbox next to virtual product, as my course is basically a virtual online course to which you get instant access. You will also notice that as soon as you tick this checkbox, the section relevant to the shipping details will be removed from here, so you don't need to bother with any shipping details because of course a virtual product will not require a shipping address. Lastly, let's insert a price and then move on to the next section of this dashboard, which is the Thrive Apprentice one. So here's where you will be able to tie your Thrive Apprentice product, in this case, your course, to the WooCommerce product that you are setting up here. So let's just open this section here and look up our Thrive Apprentice product. I'm adding just one product here, but of course, if you want to add more than one, you can do so. Next, the only thing left to do is to publish this product. And you will notice here at the top of the page a permalink that you can copy now as we will be needing this for the sales page that we will be creating next. So let me just access the pages section and start working on my sales page. Okay, so here I have my page. I have just customized it using the blocks element from my Thrive Visual Editor. And of course, you can do whatever you want here. You can use the various elements available in the right sidebar to create the page that you need. What I'm going to be doing next is just add a button element right here, then change this text. And lastly, I'm going to use the target URL section from here to add my product link. So the one that I've just copied from my WooCommerce products section. And what this means is that anyone clicking this button will be redirected to my WooCommerce product page, therefore being able to buy it and thus start the purchasing process. Now I'm just going to save my page 
and proceed to the next and final step, which is setting up the right access permission rules at product level in Thrive Apprentice. So here in the product section, I can just access the product that I want to sell. And then in this left sidebar, I'm going to go ahead and click on access restriction rules. The system will show by default the settings that I've set up in my global access restriction rules, so site-wide, and this can be accessed from here. But of course, if I want, I can simply modify these rules and display different content for this product in particular if I want. So for this situation in which the user is maybe not logged in, what I want to do is make sure that the user is redirected to the login and registration page. And then after the login, they will be redirected to the content they were initially trying to access. And then here in the purchase protection section, I'm going to make sure that the logged in user will see a custom page. And this will be the exact one that I've just worked on. So just as it's already mentioned here, if a logged in user tries to access the course content in this product, but they do not have access to it, they will be redirected to this custom page on which I've added my buy button. Now with all this set up, let's just have a quick look at how the customer experience looks like for anyone trying to buy this course. So I've landed here on my course page and as you can see at the moment, this is a premium course. So the label is letting me know that I need to meet some conditions in order to access this course. And this label can be set up directly from your course overview. So if I try to start the course, I am redirected automatically to this login and registration page that I've set up in my access restriction rules section. So let's just register for an account. Then log in. And now instantly I've been redirected to my sales page where I can buy this course. So at the moment in the back end, I've already received my WordPress login details via email. So I can just go ahead and click on buy the course and I will be instantly redirected to the product page that I've set up in my WooCommerce product section. Now here I'm missing an image, but you can of course customize this to show the image of the product if you want. And I also have here some multiple choice options that I've set up on a previous occasion. And so for another example, but I don't need to do anything here. I can just add this product to my cart and proceed to checkout. Now here you can add multiple gateways. You can add PayPal. You can accept checks if you want. This is entirely up to you and your business. The only thing left to do now is to place my order. And once more in my inbox, I'm going to receive the order confirmation as well as other order details that I might need. And that's pretty much it. This is the entire process for setting up a product in Thrive Apprentice in order to be able to sell your Thrive Apprentice courses through this checkout tool. I really hope you found this tutorial useful. And as always, you can find more tutorials of this type available in our knowledge base if you want to find out more about how to sell your Thrive Apprentice courses.